That's where people get confused. That's one reason I'm talking this way. It's because when they sell you on your genetic makeup, then you think you're, you're a determined piece of graph paper. The graph paper is determined, but you're not. In other words, if you analyze things in terms of mathematics, you're going to get a necessary result. If you analyze things, you know, if I put you on a graph and I measure how many squares across and how many down, I can calculate your area. That's necessary. But that, you're not an area. Well, neither are your genes, but certain things follow from your genetic makeup. No, but that's my point, see. <laughs> Why would you let the concepts create you? You might as well see that, no, that's the right way to use concepts. Let them create something and then see what it is. So it's tricky because if you, if you keep the wider perspective, then you get to have the conclusion in the narrow perspective and you get to act on it, you know, and you can see the doctor and take your medicine and all that and then still know that, well, but that's the analysis in Western medicine. Now let's look at the analysis in Chinese medicine. We'll get something also important there. We'll do that too. No? <laughs> See, it's a scientist I'm talking to, so if I make sense, then I'm okay. <laughs> now he says, sure, well, that's right, that's fine. <laughs>